So today's uh, little tip I wanted to share with you um, is how to extend the drying time of acrylics. One of the biggest complaints people have with acrylics is how quickly they dry. Now you can purchase um, the flow improver which does help the drying time and you can also um, purchase the slow drying medium gel. And I don't actually like the consistency of either one is a bit too thick and the other is too runny. So to get around that, I actually mix the two mediums together. And I'll have a little bottle and I'll squirt a percentage of the, um, the gel into the bottle. And it's around about a 60-40 split, um, more of the um, gel to the flow improver. So we'll uh, get some of that in there. Nice sound effects for you there as well. And we'll, uh, some of the um, fluid, and then you mix the two together. Now this will foam up a little bit on you, and if you just leave it sitting on a shelf for an hour or so, it'll settle down. Um, you've no worries about this sort of going off, it will last. So I will usually make quite a large container of this and then just squirt out a portion of what I need for that particular painting. Um, and this just sits on the shelf until I'm ready to use it again. So I've got some here and I'll show you how I use this. Now it's just got a nice creamy consistency, which is still a gel, but it's just a little bit more fluid. So I'll paint some on. So if I'm, I'm blending um, a sky or a rose or a portrait, I'll cover the area. Now if necessary, you can just lightly mist it as well. And that'll just give you a little bit more time. But that gives you a lot more time than just using the acrylics just on its own. So I'm going to just show you how to blend. I'm going to add some red into that, give that a wipe, and then we'll put some yellow at the side. And you can see now how you can create a really nice soft blend. This is absolutely ideal for doing skies. And you can finish off by using a small mop to get a really super soft blend and a nice seamless finish.